I'm Kathy Hopkins with Red Carpet Report, and we're here at the NBC Universal Summer Press Tour. So, can you tell us a little bit about your show there? Car Matchmaker with me, Spike Ferrickson. We're heading into our third season, easily the best season that we've done of this show. Yes, motorcycle shows, episodes with trucks, off-road camping vehicles of all kind, and of course the beautiful exotic cars, the Ferraris and the Porsches. So I'm, I'm super excited to share uh, this season with everybody. Stepping it up there, it's yes, awesome. Yes, yes. Making it even better than it was. Yep, we have uh, Jerry Seinfeld making return appearance this year. C.J. Wilson from the L.A. Angels and Tyler Skaggs. They're both pitchers and, uh, and a few more surprises. Awesome. Yeah. Is there anything in particular you're specifically looking to uh, forward to sharing in the season here? Um, I, as always, love to share um, my car expertise with the viewers at home and help them understand cars the way I do. And if I don't, kind of get the information for both of us so people can make informed choices and buy a car that they're happy in and hopefully laugh along the way. Our show is also pretty funny. Now, what kind of cars do you prefer yourself? I prefer, um, hmm, I collect old Porsches. I have old Ferraris. But I've been happy on ride on lawnmowers. <laughs> Anything. Long goes broom somewhere. That has wheels that kind of moves forward makes me happy. Put in a red wagon and then go. You know what I don't like? Boring cars. Cars that you get in and you feel like your soul has just been murdered. So that's how I would answer that question. There's a, I believe there's a great car at every price point and, you, and that everyone can find something neat to drive. Do you have anything that's currently out there that's your favorite type of range? Or say the average person. For the average person, well, last night that Tesla Model 3 came out. That was pretty exciting and got my attention. I was in the backyard with a Cuban cigar like this, watching uh, uh, Elon Musk, and I was like, I'm sold, immediately sold. They made $110 million in five minutes with deposits. Okay, it's, a, it's an electric car for the people, it's $35,000, how it's can you not be safe. excited about it? It's like incredibly safe for people. So says Elon Musk. Right. <laughs> yes, we'll go along with Thank Master you. Elon. <laughs> but they are very, very safe. I think that's one of the coolest things happening in cars right now. I'm excited. I, I have a friends who have them, and I'm going to drive them and maybe return them. I don't know. You know what? I was uh, a friend of mine was out at Century City Mall, standing in line to put down a deposit with 400 other people, and Elon Musk was walking the line, shaking hands, oh, yeah. saying super thanks chill. for waiting. How about that? It's great. It's like, honestly, uh, he's a very good guy. Mm -hmm. right when was the last time that happened with your Toyota Prius, America? Oh my gosh! I maybe have a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people come by me anytime. <laughs> I've had four. No one has ever shaken my hand. How dare they? <laughs> so clearly need Teslas then. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. They'll shake your hand. Yes. So um, now, how long have you been into cars? Uh, since I was two years old, since I was a little kid. Oh, wow. Nice. But it wasn't until I wrote, I used to write it for David Letterman and then for Jerry Seinfeld and two cars and comedy guys and that kind of kicked it into full gear for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some awesome, like the steam powered vehicle and everything. Yeah, Jay's completely out of his mind. That's Leno. Jerry doesn't have anything steam-powered other than his temper. But um, he's a Porsche guy, uh, maybe miners in Fiat. Letterman is a um, Ferrari, Porsche, and has his own racing team. So I've, I've got a long way to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even like a friend of mine had a, a, a mostly gutted Porsche 911 and everything. We drove around in once in a while. And, but it was still a lot of fun. It's fun, right? Well, that's what that car is about. You know, people have preconceived notions that this is a car for rich people. And if you get it in an early 911, it's a focused driving experience. It's like a go-kart experience. So you're on the ground, basically. Yeah, and it used to be pretty affordable. Now it's gotten a little stupid. But if you just wait, cars will go back down and everything will be fun. <laughs> it's a cycle, really. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, also, we can't wait to see uh, what you bring out there this season. And, uh, season three this summer. I hear we're uh, premiering the end of June. We'll be on all summer long, all across the world. All world. World. Education and information. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Very nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more interviews, and let us know in the comments below what you're watching this summer.